Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I want to show you how you can paint your own garden fence and also share with you some of my uh, tips and tricks on how to preserve the life of your fence too. Okay so you'll need um, some fence stain obviously and here I've got some water based fence stain and you'll also need a stick to give it a good stirring up and some old gloves and you'll also need a series of brushes, um, a smaller brush for any details and then a large brush to cover all the large main areas and then a four inch multi-purpose kind of brush just to do the general painting and before we start you'll want to give your stain um, a really good stirring you can see there's all colors there yellows and blues mixed and as it's been sat on a shelf um, the colors have separated so we want to give it a good mix so before we get into the painting I just want to go over a couple of tips of mine to prevent your shed from rotting so you can see here I have a trench dug and it's filled with gravel and that will help for drainage so that no water can wick up the fence and that trench is about 5 inches or 15 centimeters deep and you can see I've got a gap under the fence which allows for airflow and it prevents any water wicking up the fence and another tip would be to attach your fence post to a concrete post and that allows it to be floating off the ground so it's never in contact with the ground so it can't wick water and also use washers and over tighten the nuts and that is because when the post dries out slightly um, the wood will shrink so if you over tighten the nut it will allow for that shrinkage and your post won't be moving around and wobbling another tip would be to use screws instead of ring nails as you can see I've done here I've used a uh, standard wood screws and that will allow you to be able to um, remove parts of the fence if needed and uh, repair it and it also allows for movement during the seasons too so that the wood doesn't split so another tip is to use a fence topper and that protects the end grain of the fence post and here I made my own out of a piece of pallet wood you can buy them in DIY stores and it just prevents any water getting into the top of the post so to start off with I'm using the general brush and I'm going to start off just covering those toppers if you'd like to see how this fence was built I'll leave a link in the description below to that video this whole fence was built out of pallet wood so now I want to make sure to get into all the cracks and be quite liberal with the stain So now I want to get into the uh, the tops of the, the fence panel. So the end grain is exposed up here. So you want to get a lot of paint across that top section. And then going down to the bottom, I'm going along the bottom and underneath as well. Because there's another end grain there that needs to be protected. And you can see I can get the brush underneath because the fence is actually floating. And no part of the fence is actually touching the ground. So now I'm pushing the stain into those cracks in between the pieces of wood. And I'm topping up every 12 months. You can see it's already painted, but if I keep it topped up every 12 months, that will prevent uh, rot. So here I'm just working my way along the fence and then for the larger areas I'm using the bigger sort of six inch brush Thank you. 
So then when you're finished, you can just take uh, your brushes and wash them out with some rainwater. So if you found this video useful, please remember to like and comment and also consider subscribing for more DIY videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.